Good morning, guys. In today's video, I'm going to be taking you through a work week in my life. More specifically, my first week of work in my new job as a product marketer. Last week I talked about why I quit my job and today is actually my first day. So I'm just going to kind of show you how it goes. Obviously there's going to be a huge adjustment period because of new people, a new role, new responsibilities. But today I think is just going to be mainly onboarding and it starts in a few minutes because of the whole holiday break i've been getting up super late the past couple weeks so waking up today actually felt pretty difficult i woke up at eight which is you know embarrassingly not that early but it felt really early because i've been waking up later than usual but i typically still like to start my day with a routine you know having breakfast going on a walk just get the blood flowing and now i do feel much more awake and alert i am slightly nervous for this job because i already have like a bunch of emails that i had to go through before today now that i'm actually looking at some of the work um i can't really show you guys what it looks like but um it's it's all new and i'm kind of excited to just learn what all of this means because it does seem like I'm getting visibility into a lot of technical stuff. I'm, I'm, I'm already seeing some code in this email. Okay, so I just had about an hour and a half of onboarding meetings and a one-on-one -on -one with my hiring manager just talking about, you know, everything that's going on in the organization. My first thoughts is that this place is just so much more structured and has like all of these platforms that we use compared to the 30 person startup that I was at. I mean, obviously 30 people isn't a lot of people and things were a bit more lenient in terms of PTO, you know, clocking in, stuff like that. Um, here it's like, do this every two weeks, do this. If you want to submit a, pay, a PTO request, you got to do that. Um, <laughs> A few extra hurdles compared to my previous role, but everything here seems really exciting. There's a lot of new people to meet, and I think I'm gonna have to, or I think I'm gonna set up a bunch of intro calls with future colleagues and um, just getting to know all of them, getting acquainted with all of the platforms that we will be using, as well as the kind of work that I will be doing, blah, blah, blah. As of right now, it's 5 p.m. and I have all my meetings done for the day. And now I just need to really buckle down and start reading all of these resources about the company and the branding and get used to all the jargon that they're gonna use. Yeah, I think this is going to be it for day one. I'll see you guys tomorrow. We are starting out day two with a morning walk. I already had breakfast. I have a lot of meetings in the afternoon. In the morning, I'm just gonna take more time to look at all of the stuff that my boss gave me yesterday. Should be an intensive but educational time. So yesterday, admittedly, probably because I was coming off of the holiday break, I wasn't super giddy about going to work. And I definitely took some time to, I don't know, warm up and get excited for it. But today, for some reason, maybe because the sun is actually out now, like you can see the sunlight pouring into my room, which just elevates my mood significantly, that I'm like kind of ready, ready for work. This is the end of day two, or it's been a couple hours since the work day already ended, but I ended like around six or seven because my company's on PT time and my brain is already overloaded. I think one of the challenges this week is to maintain a workout routine while I'm still figuring out this new job. I feel like I don't have much energy, like mental energy or motivation to be working out. But yeah, there are days when I just feel like not doing anything. And today is one of those days, especially tonight. 
I really just need to recharge and pace myself because even though I would like to spend this time like focusing on YouTube and or like just editing my next video after my workday is done, um, it's hard to have that motivation but I don't think I'm going to be editing tonight. The video that I'm supposed to be editing is going to be the one that comes out before this video comes out. It's the one about quitting my job and the reason I quit and the things that I look for in a job. So if you're looking to learn anything about that, definitely check out the video. And I think in the future, I might share how to juggle a nine to five and a side hustle because I'm going to be learning to do that too. Not that I haven't in the past, but like with a new job and you know things seem to be a lot busier here than in my old one so i think that's going to be a future video so stay tuned for that but i'm i'm gonna call it for day two i'm gonna shower and then i'm gonna relax and go to bed so today is thursday so it's day four at the new job things are going at a really fast pace, I gotta say. So for the past few days, I've just been in lots of meetings and I've been reading up on a lot of materials just to catch myself up to speed on everything that's going on at the company. And today, I already just got briefed on my first project where I'm actually going to be doing marketing work. Um, I, I don't know if there's ever been an instance where I'm taking on a project and like, you know, that quickly. I'm actually kind of excited to tackle on this project because it's like what I've been looking to do for such a while. So yeah, I'm super excited, but you know, this job is also kind of demanding in its own way. I actually do find little pockets within the day to just go on like some quick walks or maybe go on a quick run. Um, generally, it turns out well because uh, at my company, people don't micromanage, which I think is a great thing and one of the reasons that I wanted to join. Honestly, it's really great being able to have that kind of autonomy and you know, people who go into entrepreneurship do go into it because Part of it is like they want the freedom and you know you can have that now when you're working a nine to five or if you're being employed so that's pretty awesome and that marks the end of my first work week so it has been a crazy ride literally i have not stepped outside of this room except for like a couple times and it's already it's already dark it's like five 5 30 p.m. on a Friday no plans tonight except to really just hang out uh, probably start editing this video that needs to be done gosh all right I'm like really behind with everything so for some closing thoughts on my first week as a product marketer I think as far as dream jobs go this really fits the criteria in terms of what I'm looking for and the things that I'm learning at work right now are super interesting. Now, it might not be easy to really understand everything or, you know, the workload isn't light, but I'm looking forward to this kind of challenge and seeing where this takes me. That being said, it's the end of the week and now it's time for me to really just relax and have fun. This That's, has a kick. I'm going to that last. Also, this has what? a kick. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I can't tolerate spicy. I mean, it's. <laughs> <laughs> okay. oh I'll yell in a minute to bring down extra rice. Dude, you don't have to force yourself to eat. How do I look right now? Do I look like I'm dying? Your eyes are watering. That's about it. Your face is slowly turning red. I feel like I'm sweating <laughs> a lot. <laughs> We're sweating these things. Maybe like five minutes into eating. You're I'm I'm actually sweating so I'm much. I'm starting to get. I'm starting to get. Mm, yeah, I'm sweating <laughs> so hard. Oh, I should so not hard. be in that pepper. <laughs> I, I, like what? I don't know what it is. It's, it's the peppers. It's the, water the water isn't gonna help you. It it helps. It doesn't. I like it doesn't help in the long run, but it's cold, so it numbs you slightly. I don't know. Oh yeah. This is like embarrassing. 